Good morning. Today we're going to be doing a full set of nails. So let's figure out what colors we want to use. Get our tips on. I did stop by Sally's to get some things because I was out of tips. So I got tips and I got a dip powder, which is a glow in the dark. And it looks like it is um, like a, a pumpkin-y orange, I'm hoping. I mean, I'm probably not using that one today. It's a little early for pumpkin orange. And I got the Sally Insta-Dry um, Clear. So I want to try that on top of my dip. Because it seems like I've seen in one of the groups, somebody had mentioned they're using this. When I say groups, it's a Facebook group for dip powder. Um... They're using this instead of like step three, which is the gel top. And I absolutely um, hated, I don't want to say hated, that's strong. Um, disliked the Revel one that came in the kit. To me, it just, it wouldn't get dry. It stayed tacky. So I don't know if I was doing something wrong with that one. The Nail Boo one was not bad. It did leave a shine, but not like. When I do gel polish on top, it still did leave a shine. I want to try this too and see what that does. And hey, you know, I might like it. And it's only like five dollars. <laughs> All right, let's pick out some colors and swatch. I'm gonna pull you guys down to the tabletop. Why is it so dark? I don't have my lamp on. That's why. Check this out. All right. Also, um, yes, I've not had any coffee today. Have it in my Biltmore mug. I should have used my fall one. Oh, man. It's okay. It's okay. Let's pull you down and swatch some colors. Okay, guys. I pulled some, some dips and swatched them. And I really want something that's autumn, but not it's like in-your-face autumn. So I pulled these neutrals. And I think that's what I'm going to work with. I'm going to go ahead and get my nails prepped, my cuticles done. And these two are Revel nails. These two are KMG nails. I know tomorrow, C in Designer Dips is going to be having a sale if you're not on their Facebook page. Children, you need to be on their Facebook page. They have some amazing dips. Mm. Coffee. I'm probably going to order some. Maybe one or two. But I'll go ahead and get um, my cuticles done, get my tips on, get them shaped up, and then we will be back to dip some colors. Okay, guys, I have my colors picked out. I have my nail prep done. Just need to clean up a little bit here where I just put my tips on and clean them up clean up some of this dust i do want a dust collector i had one i ordered one i don't know if you guys seen that haul but it was not that good i've seen it back to amazon so the melody Susie dust collector will probably be the one i end up getting i am going to use the um i want to use the nail boo yeah it's sitting here we'll use the nail boo don't need that one. I need uh, these two. So base and activator. So I pulled my colors. I'll show them to you again. We're going to kind of stick to these. I may not do the foil. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. And I'm going to do the thumb. And the pinky in this color, I think. And I'm not going all the way back to the cuticle. And I didn't tell you what colors this this was. I just told you it was nail boo. This might have been one of the um it is. It's one from the um it's number three from the very beautiful but this was the the wrong color so they ended up sending me the right color which was the berry color i 
Oh, they're picking up trash. So if you guys can hear that, the loud bumpy noise outside, they're picking up trash next door, which is a a church basically. So they have a dumpster, an actual dumpster. Okay, I see where uh did not get my tip really good, so I'm just gonna go back. It's right here at the tip where I missed. Give it a light dunk. And there's something floating in my nail powder. So I'm gonna get that out. So we'll give that another dunk. I don't know what I did with my really scrubby scrubby brush. I have put it up somewhere. And now I don't know what I've done with it. But that is my favorite way to get the um excess off. Just to scrub it off. That's going to be a pretty nude color. I'm going to do three dips. First dip was like a partial dip, three quarters. The last two dips will be full dips. And I'll probably cap everything and clear everything because everything has some glitter in it, it looks like. You can see the seam there a little bit on my pinky where my tip goes. So I'm going to take just a little more here where that seam is. Just dip it. That's better. I don't see that seam. My thumb, you can barely see it. So I'm going to give it one more dip. And then we're going to get into the fun colors. These little brushes, though, on this nail boot, I do not like. I do not like these little, like, thin, flimsy brushes. They just don't seem to cover. As well, you guys, I have not been cleaning around my cuticle gotten pretty good at not getting it all over my cuticle this little guy came with the nail boot set so I don't know if I showed that to you or not I'm done with that one for right now, so I'm going to kind of put the top back on it. We're also going to be making some soap later today on my other channel. Guys, if you have not checked out my crafting channel, please go check out my crafting channel and subscribe. Hit subscribe here, too, if you like manis, thrifted hauls, all those fun things. I'm going to get this glitter up. 
This is getting really slick already. And actually, I'm not going to save this one. I see some little right, um, sand in my nails in there. So we are not saving that powder. We're just going to throw it in the trash. Okay, so here's what we have so far. I think I want... Hmm. I don't know what I want, guys. There's so many pretty colors. This is the KMG. I forget what this one's called. I have to flip it over for you. <laughs> um, I'm doing it on the ring finger. I am just going to do it on the ring finger. Glitters, I usually just do two dips because they are so chunky. So I'm going to try to get this up and around my cuticle. That was a lot of liquid, so I'm going to go back and take some off. There's fuzz. Look at the fuzz. Don't leave the fuzz on. Need a piece of paper towel, which I have one. It's just over here neat, neat well not neatly, but folded. It's over here folded. Okay. That is pretty. Where's this fuzz coming from? It's probably cat hair. Okay, I'm going to take this layer and just really kind of mash it down. See that? Just mash it down. I think I'm done with that one. Think I might take a little bit on my pinky tip here, and I put like all my stuff up, guys. I put like all of it up. Just gonna sprinkle some with my fingertips. I have a little makeup brushes. And then dust some of it away. There we go. I didn't want like a whole lot on that pinky. Just a little bit. And then maybe. See if the brushes are in one of these boxes that I had. All my stuff in. No, but I'll take this brush. I got a little fan brush. I'm going to take just a little bit more toward the end. This brush ain't doing squat. Well, maybe. I kind of pick it up like a shovel. It does.
I wanted to kind of ombre it down. I keep getting fuzz. Okay. Scooting you over for a second. Putting lid on you. And we're cleaning up this glitter. Lord have mercy. I'll need that right back. But you guys have seen me dump them out. So I put the lids back down. Even if it's only like just for a second. And we're going to clean this up. A little bit. Okay. Glitter is going everywhere. Okay. Now I think the middle finger, I'm going to do this one. to flood my cuticles. That is so pretty. I'm just going to dip straight down into that one because it is chonky. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to let it dry for a second and then I'm going to press that glitter down. Don't really have much around side walls. I've gotten really good at that. Much, much better. Okay. One more dip, I think, on that one. And I think I am going to dip my um, pointer finger in this color. And then we'll do like a gradient into that gold glitter, I think is what I'm wanting. My hands are shaking today. Mercy. Okay, going to get up around the cuticle here. Try not to make a big mess. Looks good. Do one more dip there.
Okay. And then I'll scoot you to the back. This gold. I'm going to try to just do half this nail. You guys see that? I just painted half of it. Patting it down. That worked pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do the other hand and I will bring you guys back. But so far, that's what we have. Okay, they are shaped. They are ready to go. I am going to use the Sally Hansen InstaDry and we're going to see how that does. Just get something to prop my nail up with. So, um, I think that turned out really pretty. I still need to clean up around some sidewalls. I love Sally's brushes. The Sally Hansen. Look how fat that is. Nice and wide. We'll see how this does. And if it works really good. I will keep trying this then. My hands are shaking bad today, so it was hard to get a mani done and not make a complete mess all over my nails. They look decent once I get my hands washed, get some cuticle oil on. I think they'll look, they'll look better. I'm gonna do two coats of this. Um, so I'm gonna let this coat dry. Pretty, and it dries like quick. We should have got a little bit more glitter on that nail, but hey, you know, it is what, see, that nail's already dry. So let's go ahead and put one more coat on there. See how shiny this will end up being. I know it's not going to be like shiny, shiny, shiny like the gel, but I'm trying to stay away from the gel polish for a little bit. Because I think I have a gel allergy, which is sad. It really makes my, something makes my fingers like crack really bad up underneath the tips. And it hurts. So we're trying different things. I am not mad at that. I am not mad at all. Alright guys, that is it for this mani. Let me know down below. Are you doing fall manis? Are you already wearing your fall clothes? Have you done a pumpkin spice yet? Here, we're going to just pop you off. Like this. And pop you on like that. Um, I adjusted my tripod so it's kind of... It's, I'm not got it set back exactly the way it goes, but yeah, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, it's got a nice shine. We'll see how it holds on the dip powder though. That's my question. How well are you going to hold on the dip powder? Which dip powder is basically acrylic and you use regular nail polish on acrylic anyway. So I'll see how well it um, 
holds on. I'm going to do the other hand. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Be sure you hit subscribe. Go check out my other channel. We make soap over there. We sew over there. Um, I have a probably, we're going to make a fall wreath coming up. Like a DIY budget friendly autumn wreath. And um, so just some fun things over there. If you like to craft or watch other people craft or just get ideas. Follow me over there. Links down below. I'll see you guys on the next one.